A sudden flare lights up the Pacific sky, a mysterious launch racing through space, faster than anything seen before. In distant control rooms, alarms flash and analysts stare as the label appears, DF-61. Hours later, the same missile rolls past Tiananmen Square, revealed as China's newest intercontinental breakthrough. But this was more than a parade, it was a message to the world. A message that the balance of power, once stable, is now being rewritten missile by missile. China's latest missile showcase didn't emerge suddenly. It's the result of decades of deliberate technological layering. At its core lies a fully realized missile triad across land, sea, and air designed for depth, flexibility, and resilience. On land, China revealed what experts described as nine major intercontinental systems, including the DF-5C, DF-31BJ, DF-41, and the brand new DF-61. The DF-61 is road mobile and appears to evolve from the DF-41 platform, with a transporter erector launcher that keeps the missile sealed in a canister until use. It's believed to carry multiple independently targetable re-entry vehicles, MIRVs, allowing several payloads to deploy from a single launch. The older DF-5C, on the other hand, uses liquid fuel and remains silo-based, but continues to be an essential pillar because of its extreme range, capable of reaching virtually anywhere on Earth. The second element of this triad lies beneath the sea. The JL-3 submarine launch ballistic missile is China's most advanced naval missile to date. It succeeds the JL-2 and can reportedly reach intercontinental distances with multiple payloads. This SLBM will be deployed aboard the upcoming Type 096 nuclear-powered submarines, forming the quiet, mobile segment of China's deterrent force. Submarines carrying these missiles can operate far from the mainland, complicating tracking efforts and ensuring that even if one leg of the triad were compromised, others would remain active. Completing the triad is the air component, the JL-1 air-launched ballistic missile. This system, displayed alongside the land and sea missiles during the 2025 parade, represents the aerial element of China's strategic deterrent. It is believed to be carried by the H-6N bomber and potentially future stealth bombers, extending reach beyond coastal waters and offering flexible deployment. The JL-1 reportedly achieves a combined range of up to 8,000 kilometers when launched from altitude, bridging the gap between tactical and intercontinental missions. If the first section of China's missile strategy is about endurance, the second is about disruption, breaking the boundaries of speed, accuracy, and control. Among the standout systems displayed in 2025 was the DF-17, equipped with a hypersonic glide vehicle. Unlike conventional ballistic missiles that follow predictable arcs, this weapon travels at hypersonic speeds, estimated above Mach 5, and glides along the edge of the atmosphere, adjusting direction mid-flight. Its range is believed to span roughly 2,000 kilometers, which positions it perfectly for regional deterrence and rapid precision strikes. What makes it revolutionary is maneuverability. It can shift course horizontally and vertically, making it extremely challenging for modern missile defense systems to intercept. In essence, the DF-17 isn't about greater destructive power. It's about compressing reaction time and overwhelming traditional radar tracking. But China's hypersonic progress doesn't stop there. Alongside the DF-17 came a new family of anti-ship and coastal defense missiles under the YJ series, including the YJ-15, YJ-17, YJ-19, and YJ-20. Each represents a different technological approach, forming a diverse portfolio of high-speed maritime systems. The YJ-17 is particularly intriguing. It uses a two-stage booster to propel a glide vehicle capable of hypersonic flight toward its target. Its design suggests a flattened, aerodynamic structure that can maneuver at high speeds, providing both range and evasiveness. The YJ-19, meanwhile, employs an air-breathing scramjet engine, sustaining extreme velocity over longer distances, while the YJ-20 is thought to integrate features of ballistic and cruise missiles for flexible targeting. Even the YJ-15, a supersonic predecessor using ramjet propulsion, continues to play a role, bridging older technology with new generation designs. 
The significance of these developments is how they reshape the maritime balance. Traditional carrier groups rely on early detection and layered defense. Hypersonic and supersonic missiles challenge that by arriving too fast for interception windows to remain effective. Instead of trying to sink fleets, these systems effectively deter their presence, creating no-go zones that make it risky for opponents to operate too close. Every major unveiling tells a story, and this one was more than a technical milestone. The September 2025 display was also a message, a form of what analysts call missile diplomacy. Rather than confrontation, it was strategic communication, a demonstration that technology and readiness can influence negotiations, deterrence, and perception without a single missile ever being launched. By revealing the full nuclear and conventional triad together, land, sea, and air, China signaled a transition from development to maturity. For decades, its strategic systems were described as emerging. Now, the display announced that its missile network is fully operational, diverse, and modernized. It conveyed that Beijing's focus has moved from achieving parity to defining innovation standards in precision delivery, mobility, and system survivability. This message wasn't just for domestic audiences. It also targeted the global strategic community. For the U.S. and its partners, the implication was clear. Traditional doctrines built around slow-moving carrier formations or distant bases must evolve to survive in environments saturated with long-range, high-speed systems. The new generation of Chinese missiles reaches farther, reacts faster, and complicates defensive planning in entirely new ways. International reactions have already begun to surface. Reports from defense circles indicated that major powers are reassessing production rates, logistics, and missile defense coverage. Some have accelerated next-generation modular missile programs, while others are expanding aerial surveillance and early warning constellations to adapt to the hypersonic era. For China, the payoff is multidimensional. The missile demonstration reinforces its image as a global leader in advanced propulsion, guidance, and composite materials. It also strengthens regional deterrence, providing tools that ensure stability through capability rather than through confrontation. The systems displayed, from the DF-61 to the JL-3 and DF-17, symbolize technological confidence and strategic endurance. Analysts describe this evolution as a shift from passive deterrence to active influence, where the existence of these systems shapes diplomatic and military behavior alike. In that sense, the September 2025 parade was not merely ceremonial. It was a carefully choreographed statement about balance, innovation, and the future of strategic competition. For the first time in modern history, the global missile conversation is no longer about who's catching up, but who's leading the tempo of change. China's 2025 missile showcase marks more than an arms milestone. It represents a technological transition. From the DF-5CS historic reach to the JL-3's underwater mobility and the DF-17's hypersonic precision, this arsenal reflects a nation that has fused engineering depth with strategic intent. The world's response, from increased investment to new defensive innovations, shows how profoundly these developments resonate. In this emerging era, supremacy is no longer about fleet size or territory. It's about reach, reaction time, and resilience. The display in Beijing wasn't about dominance. It was about definition. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.